so I want to go over some brushes and more of the tools to really dig in to see how the brushes work and how you can actually add your own brushes. So the first thing is, let's just go around and look at what we need to label for our brushes. So our first thing is our open brush preset. And this will take you to all the brushes that you have loaded on your computer. You already know about brush size. So you're really good since you've been using your brush. Now, at the top though, there's more things that you can actually do as you're painting. The first one, just like in layers, you have your blend. So you can blend your brush in many different ways, darken, multiply, and sometimes you'll notice your brush is not painting because of the mode that is selected. If you, never, if you do find your brush is not painting, always set it back to normal. And just like in your layers, you can do opacity. So you can paint with a lower set fill in your brush. So if you see your brush is not coming out to the color you want, maybe it's the opacity is less. Next, at the top, it's going to take you to your brush panel. And this is completely new for many of you. So if I'm on my brushes, I can click on my panel up here, or as well as on the side. And in the panel, as you can see right here, you have the flip, so you can flip your brush. You can <coughs> flip it to get to the direction that you would like. So we can go to the flip. Also in the brush panel, you must click on your brush. If I have a brush, I can rotate it. So I can rotate to the exact angle that I need when I'm painting the brush. Rotate. Our next is our load brush option. I'm just moving my blend real quick and my opacity actually to the lines there. Load brushes. <clears throat> now you're going to load a brush. So I want you to go back to the website. I want you to right click and say download link file. You're going to find that that file is a BB broken brush dot ABR Adobe brush. And that's the file type, unless you know it's a brush. So go ahead and download that. I'm going to right click. <clears throat> then we're going to come back in. And we're actually going to load our brush by going to our brushes, clicking on our brush presets, going over to our new brush, going over to our load brush. Uh, it's not a load brush. Going over to our brushes. And we're going to go down to load brushes. And in our load brushes, locate in your download file your broken brush and hit open. And then search down at the bottom to see if you have your broken brush. <clears throat> and remember, you may have to scale it down. I'm going to pick a color, and we're going to see that we have a brush. Now you have a broken brush. Excellent. Now just in a completely different matter, next I would like you to go to the second to the last layer called Pattern Fill 1. Right now I have selected the layer, and if I paint in that layer, you're going to see that it's actually painting on the picture. This is just a reminder that <clears throat> when using a layer mask, sometimes you want to paint in the layer mask. So let's go ahead and paint in the layer mask by clicking the thumbnail of the layer mask. And we're going to come over here and just paint. Now, before I paint, I want to make sure that I have selected white. And a nice shortcut is X. That's black and that would hide my image. And we're going to go to the white. Uh, it's black. Now we're going to white. And we'll put back 
<clears throat> some of this great wallpaper. Just for your information, this file with the words or the text you see at the top uh, done in the flames was all created using brushes. And there you have your brushes. For your homework tonight, you're going to learn different ways that you might integrate a brush into your Photoshop project.